Now, using iReady data to inform instruction. If you viewed the earlier part when I was talking about understanding data from iReady, you will know that in this specific class I'm looking at, there were two students who were struggling with regrouping tens as ones. So what I am going to do right now is I am going to click on the resources page. The resources ha have tons of lessons that can support students in many different domains, subjects from reading to math. So I'm going to click on resources and this tools for instruction is where I want to look. I choose my subject math and I choose my domain numbers and operations and I'm going to click get tools. This is going to provide me with a list of a whole bunch of different lessons that I could use to support my students and this is in regrouping tens as one. So let me see if there is anything here. There's two digit addition with regrouping, subtraction within 10, um, rounding. I don't see what I'm looking for here. So I'm actually going to click the X and maybe it's going to be under algebra and algebraic thinking. So I'll get tools. Now let's see sums of 10 counting on by twos, double facts, counting back to subtract, subtraction word problems. Hmm. So in this case, I don't see anything in iReady that's necessarily going to support me. So this is where I would look to everyday math, or I might look to other supplemental resources that I can find. But let's say for it, just for an example, that the student is having trouble with something that's specifically here that there is a lesson for. So students are struggling with using models to subtract 10. Okay, so I can click on this PDF and this PDF will open up a lesson plan, something that I can teach in class. And it tells me, here's the objective that you're looking for. Here's what I need base 10 blocks and a hundreds chart and they actually have the hundreds chart for me that I can print out. They show me that there are two ways that I can teach this. Each one will take me about 10 to 15 minutes, which is great for a small group activity, a small group reteach. And it also will show me a check for understanding. So if you see that a student's having trouble in this or confusing this, or doing something wrong, they give you kind of a, this might be what the student's doing, and here's what you can try. So it's really great to help you kind of be able to look at what students are doing and really figure out how do I address that specific need they have right now. Now the same thing goes for reading. There are many tools here. So for instance, maybe I want to work on comprehension with my class. So I clicked on reading comprehension and then get tools. And then it will give me all the lessons they have for reading comprehension. So I see, oh, this is what we're really working on key ideas and details. And yet everything I've done from all the tools that I have in class from our core curriculum just aren't working. So I'm going to click on PDF. And I'm going to see what this lesson plan can contribute. Okay. It's going to take for 30 to 45 minutes. I could do this as a whole class. I could split this up and do this in small groups. Um, but it looks like it starts with introducing key ideas and details, modeling, finding key details in the text, providing guided practice. Okay, so it does say that they'll need a text that they're working on and provide independent practice. And it tells me if the students are struggling to locate the key ideas and details, here is some support that I can offer to them. It's really a step-by-step -step way of helping you figure out what lesson do I teach as intervention for this skill that students need support with. 